It's really cool. To the Pratt and Whitney hangar today, buzzing with Connecticut students. Everything is like so modern nowadays and like there's so many possibilities and there's so many things that you could do and it's just cool to see where it all goes. Robots, booths, interactive workshops showing how science comes together in real life. I really like fighter jets and stuff like that. I Coming here, it was really fun. I might want to build one with a motor. A couple of hundred students here at Pratt and Whitney today, where the employees are taking a break from their usual job to share science with the next generation. Some studies have shown that, specifically Twig Science, um, that students start to lose interest in STEM around 11 to 13, primarily because there aren't enough people encouraging them. So this is an opportunity for employees to kind of help fill that gap. It's as simple as a marshmallow launch, designing, catapulting, and judging how far it'll go, bringing physics alive. How does science come into play? How does the decision do you make come into play? If they rush, guess what? Things don't always turn out the way they plan. Plus, spreading the word that for students of all abilities, there can be a place in STEM. It's Autism Awareness Month. We have an autism internship program, which is fantastic. So it's great to be able to show other kids that we have stuff for them. You can come to Pratt, you can come to Raytheon, and you can have a future. If the students today are any indication, the future of science in Connecticut is bright. In East Hartford, meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.